Hello and welcome to this video all about whether you should use an ERV or an HRV. If you have no idea what an ERV or an HRV is, I'll also explain that. And this video is geared towards people building soundproof recording studios, but if you just happened upon this and you are thinking about putting an ERV or an HRV in your house, you might also learn some cool things in this video as well. Before we jump in, I want to tell you that I have a free soundproofing workshop, which is 40 minutes of valuable teaching, giving you a design for your soundproof home recording studio. So if you're interested in building a home recording studio like I did in my backyard, then definitely check out this free soundproofing workshop. You can visit it at soundproofyourstudio.com where you can sign up and watch it right away. All right, let's jump into the video. All right, so first things first, we need to talk about what in the world is an ERV and an HRV. So ERV stands for Energy Recovery Ventilator and HRV stands for Heat Recovery Ventilator. They are two types of mechanical gear that essentially do the same thing with a very minor difference. So let's look at the HRV first. So the heat recovery ventilator will send in fresh air from the outside into your house and pull out stale air and send it back outside. That air will go through what's called its enthropy core. And that core is what's going to save some of the heat that's being pulled out of your room, transfer that heat into the new air that's coming in without the air mixing so that the air is still fresh. So just to say that again, you can look at this diagram here. This is actually of an ERV, but essentially the same design. It's a rectangular unit where air is passing across this coil in the center. It is then being transferred into your house and then the stale air is being sucked out. It's also being passed diagonally across this core. And in that magical middle core in the middle there is where the heat exchange is happening so that you're not losing heat by transferring air in and out of your room. This will help with the efficiency of your HVAC system or your mini split system and is just a great system overall. All right, let's take a look at the ERV. The energy recovery ventilator does the exact same thing, except that it also retains moisture. And this is a big difference because in certain climates, you don't wanna be pulling in the hot sticky air and having it just totally dampen up your room Alternatively, in the winter time, you don't wanna lose all that good moisture in your house and have your humidity levels drop so low that it's too dry in there. So one of the things to think about is what climate you're in and whether you need the HRV or the ERV. So that is what we're gonna talk about next. So we're about to take a look at this chart that is from freshairventilation.net. And this chart is actually done by a Canadian study that found that ERVs are actually more efficient in more regions than we normally thought. And you can see in this old map that there is a difference there between this new map. And I was surprised to find this as well because I thought that HRVs were actually really good in cold areas, but we will find out why in a second. So let's take a look at the website right now. All right, so this is a web page from freshairventilation.net. Kind of an interesting article I found, and we have two maps here. And so in the old map, let's take a closer look at this one real quick here. Originally, it was thought that in these very cold areas up here, you definitely wanted to use an HRV. And then in the more humid areas in the southern part of North America, you wanted to use the ERV or the HRV. And in that super hot, humid area, uh, the ERV was recommended. Now they're saying that in the cold and dry areas up here in this Arctic region, um, you wanna use an ERV. And the reason for that is that the HRV can pull out too much moisture and actually make it too dry in this these very cold regions. Um, when you have the hot, humid summer and a cold, dry winter, you want to use the ERV down in here. And then the moderate area, you can use an HRV or an ERV. 
I'm in Nashville, so I chose to use the ERV because we have very, very humid summers. So I think it's a good idea to use that. In this marine environment over here on the West Coast, you wanna use the HRV or the ERV. And then in this hot, dry area is the only place where they recommend really only using the HRV. And that's in places like Arizona, where it's not humid at all throughout the year and it's very dry and it also doesn't get very cold. And then with the ERV down in the south here, in very humid, hot areas, uh, they definitely recommend the ERV, and, and HRV is probably not a good idea. So, you know, obviously, if you don't live in the United States or Canada, then this is not super helpful, but maybe you can find a map of where you live in the world. And if you notice that, you know, we have a lot of different climates here in the United States from an Arctic tundra area up here in Canada, all the way down to almost a tropical area in Florida so that we cover most of the climates that you might have in your country. All right, so let's go back to the other video and continue learning more about our HRV and ERV systems. All right, so now that you know whether you wanna use an ERV or an HRV, now let's go back and figure out how this all fits into your soundproof home recording studio. So one of the biggest issues with building a soundproof recording studio is that for it to be soundproof, it must also be airtight. And when you have an airtight room, you have no transfer of air from the inside and the outside. You might say, well, Wilson, why do I not have an ERV or an HRV in my house? It's airtight or it's sealed up. Why can't I get fresh air in and out? One reason is that you have windows that can open during the spring and fall months when you might want to just have fresh air come in. In your home recording studio, you most likely will have a completely sealed off room without a window that opens. The other reason is that homes were traditionally built with a lot looser construction process, meaning all the little tiny cracks and holes in these older homes actually lets in a lot of air circulation into your home, actually creating a more ventilated space than you probably even realize. Now, to the contrary, many new homes are built with a very what's known as tight construction, meaning that there isn't a lot of air transferring in and out of the home. And this is for energy efficiency. Builders have found that to be green and to be more efficient, that building a tighter home is better than building a looser home. So these builders are also installing ERVs and HRVs into these homes to make sure that there's enough fresh air to keep the air healthy inside the home. The reason the air can become unhealthy is that in our soundproof recording studio, we can have so much excess CO2 into the room that we end up actually breathing back in large amounts of CO2 that is not ideal for us. We don't wanna to have tons of CO2 build up in the room. So the ERV and the HRV will transfer fresh air in and pull out all that excess CO2 and we are good to go. So that is the reason behind using this. And if you have a traditional system in your home, let's say you're building your soundproof recording studio in your basement and you wanna route your existing HVAC system vented through there, you still can connect an ERV or an HRV to your duct system with your existing unit and bring in fresh air to the entire house, which may be a good thing in general, and it will also help out your home recording studio. If you're like me and you're just going to use a mini split system, the mini split system does not bring in fresh air. This is something many people don't realize. It is simply bringing the existing air in your room, running it over its coils, which is either heating or cooling the air and then venting it back out into your room so the air feels cooler or warmer. It does not bring in fresh air and it does not suck out stale air. So you definitely need to have an HRV or an ERV to help with the air exchange. One other thing I will say is that you may be thinking about passive systems where you just put a hole in your wall and hope that the air transfers. The problem with that is that that requires differing pressures in the different rooms for a passive system to work, and it also doesn't help with your moisture issues and your heating issues, which are something you want to keep in mind. So that's the reason that I have decided to recommend every soundproof home recording studio have an ERV or an HRV installed into your HVAC system 
in order to get the proper ventilation needed. All right, I hope this video was helpful. If you wanna learn more about ventilation systems, you can check out this other video I have above me or in the description below. Please subscribe and like. And again, if you're going on that journey of building your soundproof home recording studio, check out that free soundproofing workshop at soundproofyourstudio.com where you will get 40 minutes of teaching going over exactly how to design your soundproof home recording studio. All right, if you're listening on our podcast, thanks so much for listening. Please give that five-star review on Apple iTunes if you enjoy this, and I will see you all next Monday. Thank you.